Hello friends, in today's topic we will see how to load the data dynamically to the target database table. This is our source file. In the source file we have three columns, jersey number, player name and team name. Here we are loading the records based on the team name. The first two records should get loaded to the CSK table and the third record should go to RCB table. Now let's see the simple job design how to load this data based on the team name column. In the, in the pre-job we are establishing the db connection and in the t file db input delimited we are reading the source file and in the t map we have applied the condition if the team name equals to csk load the data to the csk table and if the team name equals to rcb load the data to the rcb database table and again in the db output column we have give the table name as csk and rcb Now the job is completed. Let's verify the data. So for CSK table, we have two records. And for RCB table, we have one record. But the problem with this job design, when we new row gets added with the different team names, this will not handle because here we have hard coded the team names, CSK and RCB based on the team names it will get loaded. So if a new records get added, so we've added Mumbai record, but every time when a new team name gets added, you need to make changes to your talent job. But again, that would be not the good idea. But, st but still, uh, if you need to add, you can create one more DB output. In the Mumbai table, we should get one record. Okay, invalid username and password. One minute. Okay, I will not click on the use existing connection due to that the job failed. And here the table name is Mumbai. And create table, action on table since it's a new table, right? We will just click on create table if it does not exist then action on data would be insert the job got completed now let's see the mumbai data So we have two records because already like I ran the job. So now the table exists. But the problem again, right? So when the team name gets added, for example, if you're adding new team for Punjab and one for Delhi. So every time when a new team name gets added, you need to go and make your job change to add the new columns so every time you need to keep on adding your db output multiple times like one for mumbai and one for punjab and one for rajasthan so your outputs will get on keep on adding but this is not a good idea so we should keep a dynamic job so irrespective of the column names the data should get loaded without any code updates now let's see how to handle this using the tflow thread component so this is the job design again in the t pre job we are opening the db connection and in the first t file input delimited we are reading all the team names and for this job like we have different data source yeah here we have like csk rcb delhi punjab and different different team names 
in the first t file input delimited we are reading all the team names and with the t unique row we are filtering out and we are keeping only the t uh, different unique team names in the t flow thread component so the t flow thread component will keep all the unique t, t names in the global variable and in the next second t input delimited component we are again reading the same source file but while reading in the t filter row input column is based on the team name we are applying the filter and the input column name would be team name and the function operator would be equals here, here we have different names equals not equals to but in our case with the team name equals and the value we are reading it from the t flutterator component it's a global variable so this global variable will contain the value of your team names like csk rcb punjab and mumbai if you see this team up right we did not define any team names in the previous job here we might have kept the expression editor based on team names as you see here right we had multiple outputs in the expression editor we might have given the team names if the team names equals to csk load to csk and if the team name equals to rcb load to different table but if you see in, in this job design right there is nothing like that so based on the global vari variable of t flow iterator we are getting the team names and again in the db output column the table name would be the column value so in the earlier job we were predefining the table names like csk rcb and mumbai but here the filter condition and the table name is based on the global variable let's run the job the job got completed now let's verify the data let's verify the dc first see here we have one record for delhi and let's verify for punjab as well now if we add one more new record so now we have added new team name but in this scenario no need to make any changes to your job design irrespective of the different team names gets added your job will handle it dynamically you can see one record for india team name so i just repeat the steps again in the first delimited you are getting all the distinct team names and you're storing it in the t flow iterator and in the second input delimited again you're reading the same source file while reading in the t filter row you are applying the filter when it reads the first time using the t filter row it will apply the condition then in the db output the records are getting loaded and in the post job we are committing all the records and closing the connection yeah thank you friends